Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to share something with you guys that I thought might be pretty helpful. And it's a lot of information in one video. And um, because I'm not organized, I might be all over the place. But I want to talk to you ladies about portion control. Okay, so anyway, how I've been kind of maintaining my weight is portion control. And lately I haven't been doing that great, but this is something that I think might work for you guys. Okay, for one, I love Pepsi. I'm really am not, I'm not a pop drinker. I used to be, but every now and then I feel like I need to have a pop. Now, I have um, this Pepsi Max with zero calories in it and um, zero carbs. And, um, but it has... Um, a lot of artificial flavors and um, sweeteners that are in it. This is Pepsi Zero, but if you don't want that artificial stuff, that might be like not so great for you. You might not want to drink this, but um, I do drink it from time to time. I don't drink it on a regular basis. But what you can do is get these little small cans of Pepsi, and one of these has 100 calories and... 28 grams of carbohydrates um sometimes i'd rather just do this than the pepsi zero because of the chemicals that's in it or what you call the pepsi max and pepsi max is, doesn't have a bad flavor but it's not really that bad so i get this really small can versus this full can of chemicals when and artificial sweeteners this one has just regular sugar in it I mean, I'm sure it has other stuff in it too, but, and it has high fructose. So you just might want to figure out which one. This has zero carbs and zero calories. This one has real sugar in it, but less chemicals. I don't know, pick. That's just my opinion. Another thing I do is I go to Trader Joe's and I get um, uh, this bag of different type of nuts. And raisins are in here in a small bag like this and you can just eat eat this um, for a snack while you're out during the day um, one bag has 210 calories in it and that's a lot it's okay if that's all you're having for lunch but what I'm doing now is that I cut this in half and a lot of you are like oh my god I mean there's barely any food but this is just for snacks, just to hold you over until you're ready to eat a real lunch. So you can kind of break this down into um, 100 calories instead of 210 calories. Break it down to 105 calories. So I will pour half of this bag in there. Like that. And this is just something while you're out that you can grab and put in your mouth to eat for a snack. And then you put the other half in this bag. Or sometimes I just eat the whole bag. Sometimes I don't end up eating the whole bag. And I end up, it doesn't seal uh, very well. And I mean, um, I check the expiration date and it expires in 2013. And I just kind of seal them and I throw a bag in my um, purse. And my husband buys this big thing of raisins right here. And... This has 130 calories and um, one-fourth of a cup is 130 calories. And you also want to watch your carbohydrates. It's very high in carbohydrates too. So you just got your nuts there. And for me, I just might want to throw some of these raisins in there. So that's 105 calories and this might knock it up to 115. I don't know. So I like sweet stuff. So then you got your raisins in there. And I probably put too much of that in there. And um, it's one fourth of a cup is 10, um, 210 calories. And I want to kind of give you guys an idea about what one fourth of a cup looks like. Okay, so they said one fourth of a cup. That is, let me go ahead and put the raisins in there. So you can actually see with your eyes because. You'd be surprised about one-fourth of a cup looks like this. 
One fourth of a cup is 210 calories. This right here is 210 calories. Half of that is 105 calories. So when you make your um, when you take your raisins and make your own little trail mix or whatever, be very careful about how many calories you're going in there. Okay. So that's that on, um, this is for snacks. This is stuff in your purse that you just got to have it. And then, yes. Another thing that I like is um, the potassios. potassios. They come in these individual bags. You can get them from Sam's Club. And they come by the box. And one bag of these has 130 calories and 6 grams of carbohydrates for the whole bag, I guess. In one package is 130 calories. And I usually eat a whole bag. Because they're so good. They're so good. And if you're really, really trying to watch it, then eat half a bag. But that, that would be hard for me to do. Okay. Other thing I want to show you is that I love sun chips. Yummy, yum. Cheddar sun chips for snacks. Again, let's look in the back of here. It's 140 calories for the Sun Chips and um, one ounce is 140 calories. That's 15 chips is 140 calories. So that means if you ate 30 chips and you are going to eat 30 chips, that is 280 calories and more likely going to eat more than 30 chips because they're that good. That is, you can... You can easily get up to five, six hundred calories just eating these. Okay, what I'm about to do, sometimes I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So 15 chips, I'm not going to count the chips. Um, I have these little snack bags right here. These little snack bags um, is perfect for 100 calorie snacks. So what I fit in here is about 100 calories. Okay, and that's not really true because I know some of the stuff I already put in. I'm not going to count the chips, but if the chips are an actual size, um, I'm not going to count them. I'm just going to fill it up to where it's snackable. And I'm telling you, if you know this is all you're getting, and you know this is your bag that you pre-made, and you know this is all you're getting. You're not going to, like, eat these real fast. Just take your time and eat them. Because usually, you don't really want this. You just really want the taste of it. And so, um, if you break it down to smaller containers, um, 15 of these is, like I said, 140 calories. And then, if you grab one more of these, know that it's 280. And then, you're still controlling your portions. Don't just eat out the bag because you're going to eat more if you do that. And the carbohydrates are really high. It's got 9 grams of carbohydrates. So, um, I'm going to pre-make these. So, I have some chips and these. Now, I'm going to tell you what my favorite thing for that time of the month. Woo, girl, let me tell you. Love me some m &Ms. I can eat them every day. Um... Um, a serving size is a half a pack of this, okay? And, um, this is 240 calories. Okay, but you want to read that really closely. This is two servings. So what does that mean? That is 480 calories. This is, um, empty calories. If you eat this and then go eat a sandwich... You're stacking up your calories, and you're getting empty calories. So, um, what I'm trying to say to you is that you want to count these out. You don't, if you eat these, this is 240 calories, and you're having lunch. This is all you need to eat for lunch unless you eat a salad. Because if you eat this and a hamburger, I mean, you your calories will be up there. So... I'm not going to count these out, but um, a good number for me is 10 of these big M&M's. 
and I probably will keep going back to these. And I am going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I do. I love these. And if I want some more, I'll go grab some more. That's what I do. And then this is in my other milk chocolate. Love them. Two serving sizes. 220 this whole bag, which I would never eat this whole bag in one sitting. That is uh, 440 calories for this one bag. Another thing I like, and I rarely get them. I just happened to see them today. And that's these Belgian Almond Thins. Eight of these has 140 calories. So I would probably break this down three or four. And I'll just sit down, suck it, and eat it. Just savor the taste. I don't eat all this in one day, but that is my snack box. Oh, and one more thing, guys. I want to tell to you about I love me some Lay's potato chips. I didn't realize how, many, how high in calories these were. But 15 chips. And I'm actually counting that. I'm going to tell you first one. Tell you how many calories in the 15 chips. I don't even know what that looks like. But you know good and well we eat more than 15. And they're all crumbled up too. I don't know. 15 of these. Is. 160 calories. Which. That's almost. If you get 30 of them. That's 300 calories. Girl you don't want to do that. That's a lot going on. Get you enough, and it's probably be more than 15 that will fit in one of these snack bags and go on about your life. And if you want another one, grab another snack bag. Don't just eat directly out the bag. Please don't do that. And you're going to eat way more than what you want to eat. Another thing is I have here, I have these um, honey graham bars. These are really good. One of these is 120 calories and the carbohydrates are really high it's 24 grams of carbohydrates and I can usually if I haven't had if, I, if it's my lunch I'll just have this for lunch and some water but if I need more I will eat more but I'm not really good at following this strict little thing I do here but it helps sometimes when I put my mind to it and I thought maybe this would help a lot of people. So, only thing I'm saying to everybody, read the labels. See what a serving size look like. Always know that when you buy your M&Ms and your candy, ladies, you say, oh, this whole bag is 220 No, this is two servings right here. You don't have to eat this whole bag. Know if you ate this whole bag that you just ate 440 calories on top that you're probably still going to be hungry. So before you're done, you're probably going to eat about eight, 900 calories. And then you're wondering, like, I, why I can't get this weight off is because you're eating all this little stuff, which adds up to a lot. So I'm saying is have your sugar, have your sweets, have your goodies. And we'll talk about our vegetables and healthy stuff later. But in proportion and portion control. And if you decide that you want more than what you put in your bag... Go grab another bag because if you have two bags like this, you still haven't ate the whole bag, okay? So that'll help you. But then you just try to stick to this. If you want another one, grab another one. And you want another, even if you have three of these bags, 30 M&Ms, you still haven't ate the whole bag. But try to get used to just eating just the one bag. That's all. I hope it helps somebody. Get back with me. Let me know what you think. And I just really wanted to share that with people because I know we all are battling our weight. I'm not trying to be a skinny mini, but, you know, today's world, everybody is overeating and our portion sizes are huge. So, if they're too huge, we make our own portion sizes. That's for us. And you might decide that 10 is not enough for you. You might want 20 M&Ms. You might want 5. 10 is good for me. And if I want another one, bam, I have me another one. So, hey guys, just try that. And um, I'll come back with you some more tips. Thanks. Bye.